Hi, I'm Will, and today I'm going to be doing a rant about stepping up to the plate for MLK Day, here on the Geezer Guide to Better Living. I remember the day that Martin Luther King was assassinated. I was only six years old. It happened in April 4th, 1968. It was a very dramatic day for me. Um, I came home or I came from outside playing and my mom was crying and the neighbors were crying. And it was a very dramatic thing because back in the 60s, men didn't cry and all the men in the neighborhood were crying. So you know it was very uh, dramatic and very heartfelt because it wasn't just my little neighborhood crying, it was the whole nationwide uh, event that everyone was in grief. And it was just like a family member had died because everyone had a picture of Martin Luther King in their living room at that time. Back in the 80s, I went to college at University of Central Florida. And uh, at that time, the big thing was having a Martin Luther King holiday. Ho the holiday wasn't even uh, established at that time, but we were talking about it every year when it comes around, people would uh, go out and try to march and ask for the holiday. I was at, uh, in a predominantly white school. I think that I knew almost every black person by name and face on that campus at the time. And it was in Florida, so you know it was prejudice. And so uh, me and a small group of people decided that we were gonna march on campus for MLK Day. And um, the news picked it up. And when the news picked it up, the administration was angry about it. And we were targeted. All of the people that marched at that time were targeted. And it, well, I wasn't just targeted by the administration. I was targeted by the students. I was even targeted by the black students, which was thinking that they were saying that the ones that marched were trying to make it rough for the students that were already there because they were too busy trying to uh, get along and, and incorporate themselves into white fraternities and, and white life and dating white women and white men that they got upset with us because we were rocking the boat. And you know, I did not give a damn. So uh, before I left the college, Martin Luther King birthday was established. And um, I left the college because I was targeted and because people were really coming after me and teachers were uh, harassing me. I was being harassed about, you know, marching and being on the news and bringing attention to the school. The big question has been for the past few years, who is going to take the, the mantle of being the black leader? I think that there is no such thing as a black leader like back in the 60s when there was uh, Martin and all the rest of the leaders that we had. We had some great leaders back then and we needed them for that time. This today, in today's climate, everyone can be a leader only thing you need to do is step up to the plate when it's time to step up to the plate don't let things go by if you have a march or anything or a cause for a black cause cause you need to get up and you need to fight you need to get up and you need to do your best to set the example for the next uh, generation that's coming up because the next generation is very lackadaisical to me. And they feel that we have already overcame because they grew up in white neighborhoods, they have white friends, they go to white college, and they basically don't feel that um, there's any reason for them to fight. But there is 
plenty of reasons to fight because we do not have equality like a lot of people think that we do. Because if we uh, had equality, a lot of the stuff wouldn't be happening. And a lot of people think that we have overcame. That's why we have so many black Republicans and black people who speak against black issues and think that they have made it in the life but you have not made it if all of us haven't made it. If one, if only one of us make it and all of us didn't make it, we have not made it. A lot of these are people going around thinking that they're going to be the next leader, putting doctor behind their name, putting reverend behind their name, and they going around even trying to talk in the manner and the tone of uh, the people back in the 60s as Reverend Martin Luther King and other people. Um, I don't really want to get into that but these people i will not follow them into uh, the next room because they as you sit down and you talk you listen to them they are preaching some of the same uh misogyny that white men are preaching you know they're down talking women they're down talking people's sexuality they're down talking other black people if they're not following their uh, religion and doing things the way they want to do. You know, black people come in so many different facets and you need to be preaching to all of them and not one of them. Martin did. Martin took everybody into, you know, you could be Muslim, you could be gay, you could be whatever. Martin did not uh, separate black people the way a lot of these people are trying to do today. So that's what I, my message is that you need to step up to the plate and fight when it's your turn to fight. And you'll know when it's your turn to fight. And all you need to do is step up to the plate. Okay, that's the end of this rant. My name is Will and this has been the Geezer Guide. And thank you for watching. You can f uh, follow my art websites, which one is uh, uh, Geezer Art on Redbubble. And on Fine Arts America is Barbara Will. I thank you again. Thank you.